Hi, good morning everybody, Stevie here from Never Too Late to Travel. Started our little tours and trips around the Chiang Mai area today. I uh, did a few places yesterday, but uh, unfortunately I didn't, uh, didn't uh, video them. Purely because two of them were temples and uh, one was a hill tribe village, which was exceptionally interesting, but the climb up there was so difficult. Uh, I was out of uh, breath before I got halfway up and uh, so hot and uh, sweaty that uh, I lost the will to live. But this morning hopefully it's going to be an easier day here at uh, Elephant Parade Land. It's one of the smaller uh, attractions here in Chiang Mai. Ideal if you're a family uh, with uh, younger children. It's uh, one of those interesting I'm sure the younger generation will uh, enjoy. Right across the road from the uh, Hidden Garden, so you can hit two spots uh, together. So with that, I'll take you for a walk around and uh, show you what's on offer. Not a particularly big place, but uh, nevertheless, I hope you find it interesting. So this previously used to be a, a ceramics factory, and uh, it specialises in uh, decorating uh, baby elephants. And some very interesting uh, displays here as well. Very friendly couple came out to meet us this morning and they're uh, trying to promote the place so I uh, hope you'll support their ventures. One of the uh, more interesting places to come to in Chiang Mai other than temples. And for the uh, Hello Kitty fans All the elephants here are real, uh, really uh, nicely decorated and uh, really pleasure to see them. And at the back there they have uh, the elephant uh, parade land uh, Chiang Mai uh, wall painting, which I'm sure that you'll find uh, most interesting. I'm sure the kids would love all these. I do like this uh, <laughs> elephant here with the uh, motors. I think that's cute. I'll just take you for a walk to the back and show you the rest and then I'll have a walk inside. Some really interesting uh, Decorated elephants here, very, very impressed. This one looks more like it's uh, had graffiti put all over it. So, come on down, guys, bring the uh, younger members of the family and uh, spend uh, 30 40 minutes here. I'm sure that uh, the kids will love it. have guest parking up here but uh, we parked at the uh, just inside the entrance got a small park there and we were very uh, early this morning love the elephants Here we have uh, Elephant Prey in Mosha. Mosha was the uh, start of this uh, venture. It was uh, uh, an injured elephant. You can see the picture there where it lost its uh, front right foot. Absolutely fantastic. And they have painting and uh, shopping this way, so uh, there's other things to say and uh, a little museum. We'll try and get in there in a few minutes. And this is the uh, talented uh, artist shop. Uh, unfortunately, they've got a uh, a celebration on here today, so they are quite busy. But this just gives you an idea where they do all their uh, painting of elephants, and you can see the uh, blank ones there, basically ready to be uh, decorated. Absolutely fantastic! Don't know what they're actually made of probably some glass fiberglass stuff and there is a, a development studio there 
you can just see in the background we'll try and get a walk around there to give you a better view <laughs> like a silver elephant here and somewhat different absolutely fantastic and here they're setting up uh, the stage for some celebrations today a few more elephants at the back here just gives you an idea of uh, what's available go and try and catch up with the wife I particularly like the elephant with the tuk tuk Thank you very much. Very, very interesting place. Okay. It's uh, just a bit disappointing you don't have more people come. We have, we have quite a lot yeah. of people. Not enough? Not enough. It's no, never no, enough. No, no, <laughs> this is the view of where they do the uh, decoration and. Uh, stuff of the elephants that's a large workshop it's beautiful to see yeah. uh, you can get some really uh, interactive stuff going on there the break started in 2006 because of that elephant and her name is Mosha and Mosha stepped on the left eye when she was six months old and she lost her leg and back in 2006 it was never happened that an elephant got a prosthetic leg and also at the hospital where she was brought in in Nampu they don't have the money to develop such a kind of thing so our founder, that guy, he was on a holiday in Chiang Mai, visiting in a hospital in Lampang, and met Moshe, and he wanted to do something. He said, what if I generate a concept for money and to give back to Moshe to get her a prosthetic leg every year? And let's, let's try, that's what they said. So what he did, he made a statue of paper mache um, and asked a friend of his, a famous artist in Chiang Mai, to paint the design. And they put it in a shop in Barquet, that is still our shop, as a piece of art. It was a gallery at that time, and they, was, they, they sold it immediately. So then the, that was the first one. So they think, okay, this will work. So they made the second one, three, five, ten, hundred. Till now, we are making about 6,000 pieces a month. Yeah, so that is the start of Elephant Parade. Uh, we, are, we started as a charity because we donated all the money back to Russia. And after a couple of years, we changed it in a social enterprise. So our company, uh, we are a profits-related company. We have, at the moment, uh, 83 people of staff and 150 families that have an income because of elephant bread. That's excellent. What, what is the elephants actually made of? Are they plaster and fiberglass? Or? Yeah, yeah, so I yeah, I thought so. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. And they start off with the metal frame. Yes. A metal frame and then they, they put the fire cloud around silicon. Very, very interesting. Lovely place. 20% of our net profits with a minimum of 50,000 euros, 2.2 million, we donate back per year to elephant conservation. That's we fantastic. Also, if we lost money. So during COVID, you can imagine we had to close a lot of shops, but many people go, but we were uh, committed to this 2.2 million, and we, luckily we could. That's excellent. So the company is based on A, B, C. The A for art. Yeah. Uh, here in the norm of Thailand, we have so many creative people who make the most beautiful art pieces. Could be uh, fabrics, bags, for example, clothes, uh, paintings, wood carving, beautiful pieces. But if you look at the night market, if you see what they get for money, if they ask 100 baht, you, you know that they spend hours making them. So here we try to give them an environment that they have Wi-Fi, they have social security, 
Uh, we, we give them a good share, there is uh, an aircon, and we pay them for peace. So we have a fair price for them. It's that's excellent, good. really is good. So that's also what we so we, will, we want them to have a fair price. So they can also work from home. If they need more money, they can take uh, part of home, so it's up to them. We pay them for peace every month, as long as they reach the target. So we sell that through business. Um, we have resellers all over the world. We have distributors all over the world, and we have in uh, Thailand at the moment only uh, shops. So at the moment we have uh, 12 shops, retail shops. Before COVID we had 28, so we are slowly coming back. Every month we open a new shop again, so that's why we, where we sell our products in. And we do that for our staff, and, uh, but also for health and conservation. That's excellent, really is good. So these are our founders. This is Mark and Mike Spitz. Mm -hmm. They found the company in 2006, came up with the, with the concept. Uh, about four years ago, <coughs> they stepped out of the operational part of the company. They still are our ambassadors, but they sold all the shares to a Dutch company called World of Delight. Mm -hmm. And uh, they are operating now the company here in Thailand with me as a general manager. And in Holland, we have our uh, Elephant Elephant Break International, who is basically doing uh, organizing the parades. So Mike is your husband, yeah? No, no, he looks like it, but it's not my husband. No, Mike is, uh, yeah, he was the founder. He was oh, okay. The owner until four years, four years ago, he sold his share. I, I would have thought when I saw him, he was either your husband or yeah. your brother, <laughs> because you look very similar in the no, face. They're both both. <laughs> I don't believe. <laughs> this is all dedicated to elephant um, hospital. It's a friend of Asian hospital, and they it is founded by this lady, Kum Soraida. She started this hospital about 29 years ago uh, because as a kid, kid, she found an elephant who was hit by a car uh, down the side of the road. So he's, she was so touched and she dedicated her whole life to elephants. And so every elephant that is sick can be brought into the hospital for free. Her hospital um, gets a lot of donations and from the donations she can give the health care and medication operations to sick elephants. This wall, you can see uh, our parade. So the elephant parade, the name of the parade, comes from an exhibition. An exhibition of full-size elephants that are the big ones that you see outside. We call that a full-size, that's our real size. And these elephants, we display them in shopping centers, in cities, uh, on in events, in zoos. So wherever somebody wants to have an event, or wants to raise money for elephants, we ship. You can do an exhibition, yeah. 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 Excellent. And do, do you travel to the exhibitions? Most of the time. So the first one started in Rotterdam, because Mark and Mike uh, were born in Rotterdam, so that was easy. And then all around Holland, Belgium, Luxembourg, the next big one was in 2010. In London. 260 pieces display all around the city of London. And that was also when we start having our company related with Elephant Family that became later our charity partner. We met them in London, so together with them uh, we organized the parade. And that was a huge success. Many new designs. And uh, <laughs> I've, I've just spent 15 minutes in the hotel straightening all their pictures. <laughs> Ambassadors, uh, celebrities, people who want to be involved in elephant conservation help us with spreading the word but also give us designs. In 2011 we had in Singapore a very big event. And Katie Perry was one of our artists who oh. gave us a design and gave her name. So she made a lot of promotion about uh, our exhibition at that time. And this is the design. The funniest thing is that every piece is, uh, is unique. We give them a number. So it's got a certificate, and underneath the deck there is a number which is uh, uh, which has the, co the connection with the certificate. And if the numbers are gone, we don't produce them anymore. But then it makes a collector's item, so you can make sure, yeah, okay, yeah. Very well sold out, very well. She made also a full size, and on the full size elephants, she made twelve thousand uh, wheels for of pistols. 
That's one of my wife's favourites, Schwarzkowski. <laughs> Okay, so then we also have Richard Branson, we have uh, Brian Adams, uh, at the moment we have a beautiful piece in Las Vegas made by Celine Dion. Oh. So we try to, uh, people want to be Lots of diversity. Mm -hmm. I like the durian one. So also, um, they can add mosaic or fabrics as long as the shade is used. It's excellent, really is really good. Then I just already told you about that we are a social enterprise and part of our profit we donate to a charity and our charity part is Elephant Family. And on this wall, you can read everything about Elephant Family because we were connected with them in 2010 during the parade in London. And Elephant Family is founded by this guy, Mark Sint. Oh. And Mark, Mark Sint... And that guy. Mark Sint um, uh, traveled around India on an elephant. He passed away, uh, unfortunately, but what is the funniest thing or nice thing about it is that he is the brother of Camilla Parker Bowl. Ah, yeah. <laughs> on the pictures, you see the picture of the royal family, Kate and William, they were during the opening in India, and here Charles and Camilla. And for us, it's so good to have a charity partner like them, them because they, they choose the projects. And the project will also always be good, right? If there is something wrong, they will not... That's right, they won't support it. That's and right. um, yeah, as an outsider, you don't know which project is good. You don't know what is behind the scene. And so for us, this is fantastic. So we donate the money to Moshia, 25,000 euros a year, and the rest of the money is going to Elephant Family. Absolutely fantastic. Really interesting. So during the, the years that we uh, have this company, uh, there are about 18,000, there was a collection of 1,800, 800, between 1,800 and 2,000 different designs made yeah. in the last year. So we have a total of 92 different designs, and every year we change 50 new ones, 15 we take out. How, how long does it take you to, to make one? Completely. Depends on the design, obviously. Yeah, the, the, get the resin from the durian with the clay on top of it, yeah. this takes about, for, for a smaller size, they can make about 10 per day. But if you have this one, for example, they uh -huh. cannot make 10 per day, that, that maybe takes double time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate this the design and the colors. Uh, it's, it's not easy. I mean, I, I have a problem with craning books, painting by numbers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have a problem. <laughs> I told you very cute. I told you you'd love it coming here. What a fantastic display. So we go this way. Yeah, this way, honey. For the lady. So we have so many different designs from different and you can see it from when you have a parade, what is the design. So for example, here we have the Indian designs. And then you see the Indian culture fast into a design. Mm -hmm. Watch. Inspirational India. <laughs> this is India. Mm -hmm. We have Holland, the tulips. You're biased. <laughs> this is uh, this is one of our products. So you can personalize your elephant. So there is a newborn. We have uh, boys and girls. <laughs> Excellent. The, date, the weight. Really is a, a nice place here, and nice to see that you've got uh, classrooms for the children that they, you know, have some uh, interactive learning things excellent really really good i 
I like this one, honey. It's a elephant with a a map of Asia on it. Excellent. Love it. So during weekdays, it's also nice to come and have a look because then also our artists are working. So it's also open for public uh -huh. going. Really is excellent. Which bag do you want, honey? You should, but... I like blue one. Okay. My wife likes bags. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Cutie! <laughs> <laughs> So my friends, that brings us uh, to the end of an excellent tour around uh, Elephant uh, Parade Land here in uh, Chiang Mai. And what a fantastic uh, talk given by the, uh, one of the managers. Absolutely fascinating, very, very interesting. And uh, I couldn't give you uh, more encouragement to come down and have a look for yourself. Absolutely amazing, sure that you won't be disappointed. So now we're going to move on to the next one, guys. I uh, hope to catch you shortly on the next one. And with that, take care of yourselves. Bye bye. I'm sitting here, I'm getting stronger. Step by step, the clock is ticking.